On October 3, 1962, the United States successfully launched its fifth manned space flight. The Mercury spacecraft, known as Sigma-7, and piloted by Walter M. Sherrod, Jr., completed its sixth orbit mission with textbook perfection and landed with pinpoint accuracy less than 9,000 yards from the prime recovery vessel in the Pacific Ocean. After a medical examination, a short rest, and a complete discussion of his flight with Project Mercury officials, astronaut Shara returned via Hawaii to the home of the manned spacecraft center in Houston, Texas. On October 7th, he delivered a first-hand report of his flight to the nation and to the world. Before some 300 members of the worldwide press and more than 200 distinguished guests, the conference was opened by the administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Mr. James E. Webb. Uh, let me uh, briefly say that we are here today for an important occasion, the first pilot's report to be held in the new home of the Manned Spacecraft Center in Houston. In the future, as our space flights last for longer times and extend over greater distances, our operational control of these flights will shift from the Mercury Control Center at Cape Canaveral to our new multi-purpose Mission Control Center here at Clear Lake. So today, as we hear from Commander Sherrard, we will be hearing but the first of many reports which brave, competent, and dedicated men returning from the far reaches of space to this new home of the manned space flight will give, not in secret, but openly for the benefit of all mankind. Now, at the time John Glenn made his pilot's report on his flight in Friendship 7, I stated that the space accomplishments of a great and powerful nation depended not only on the bravery and competence of pilots like Shepard, Grissom, Glenn, and now Carpenter and Chirag, not alone on the knowledge, skill, competence of large numbers of scientists and engineers. This success of giving the United States space effort not only their closest attention, but the kind of support that will ensure fast progress from the kind of early flight on which Commander Chirag will report today on to our Gemini, to Apollo, and on to the moon and beyond. Now, to present Commander Shara is Dr. Robert R. Gilru, himself the recipient of NASA's Distinguished Service Award and Medal, and the director of the Manned Spacecraft Center, Dr. Gilru. Thank you, Mr. Webb. Ladies and gentlemen, last Wednesday, Walter Shara became the fifth American to ride a rocket into space. The external details of his flight are well known. Since he landed, the internal details, his responses and reactions to space have been recorded and will be analyzed for future reporting, along with recorded data on the space vehicle and the worldwide network operations. Today, we will have the pilot's initial report on the flight from his own observations. He was in space for over nine hours. He was weightless for over nine hours. He had considerable time for observations and reflection. Flights like Wally's are essential to our progress in space, but they are also very serious business, requiring the greatest of efforts on the part of many individuals and organizations. They are pioneering flights 